Hello and welcome everyone. So I have shuffled up the two decks. This match now, it's basically a romantic partnership, boyfriend, girlfriend, lovers, um, husband, wife. Um, but you might be looking at this because your Leo and your very, very best friend in the world um, is Sag. So it doesn't matter. Or it might be that you've just got a new job and you've gone into partnership with somebody and one of you is Sag and one of you is Leo. When I shuffled them, I said, show me Leo and Sag together. This is Leo. Show me Sag and Leo together. This is Sag. Okay, so Sagittarius and Leo. Now, as the reading is going on, you might feel, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Big long finger and I was pulling that across the table. Um, as the reading goes on, you might think, hmm, this sounds more like Leo and this sounds more like Sagittarius. Doesn't really matter. We're just having a look at the general atmosphere between the two people. Uh, so we'll look at some tarots. We'll start with Leo over here and then we'll move on to Sagittarius. Then we will do these. I already shuffled, but we'll do it again. Um, we just want to see Leo and Sagittarius. So we'll get five each of the poker deck just to add a bit to the reading. And then lastly, I've already shuffled these, so I won't do them again. Uh, these cards have messages on them. Uh, we'll just cut in the middle. So Secret of Myra is coming out. I think when I was doing one of the other readings, I think it was something to do with Sagittarius, and I showed the example Secret of Myra came out. So Sagittarius, there must be someone in the background, the Secret of Myra, going on there for you. Um, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll take two from the top for here, two from the top for here, one from the bottom, one from the bottom. Um, now, so when we get to these, if you've got a yes or no question in your mind, just in case it comes out, it might not. So far, it hasn't come out with all the re recordings I've been doing today. Um, now, this reading, um, anyway, so yeah, if yes or no doesn't come out, sorry, I just diverted straight away. Um, yeah, if yes or no doesn't come out, that's just to give some more messages about the two um, star signs. Now, this Leo Sagittarius reading was a request from somebody, one of my subscribers, um, probably from my live um, recordings. I'd, I'm not sure if it was somebody that watched another video and said, can you do Leo and Sagittarius, um, or whether it was when I was live. Um, so yeah, whoever you were that requested this, Sorry for the delay, but here we go. We've finally got it on the table. So here we go. Let's start with Leo. We have the Knight of Wands, the Fool, the King of Cups. Looking pretty good so far. The Sun, best card in the deck. The Strength and the Three of Wands. Nothing negative sitting on the Leo side of things. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different. Normally I read all of that, what I'm seeing, and then I turn these, but we're going to turn these. Um, so let's have a look. Three of Cups. Three of Cups, Three of Wands. Good energy. Hermit, Virgo energy coming out over here. We do have Leo energy here and here. We've got two lots of Leo sitting here. Uh, and we've got Fire here, which is Leo again. And then we've got Water over here. Ten of Pentacles, beautiful energy. Two of Wands. Five of Swords, Hangman. Uh, now we will leave that upside down. Hangman up in reverse. Alrighty. Um, so out of the 12 cards in front of me, we have two that are floating, one sort of in the negative zone and one negative card. Okay, so let's get to that in a minute. So starting off with Leo. Leo, you're showing up in your own reading three times. Now, this could mean somebody that's very self-centered. Uh, it can mean somebody that focuses on what your dreams are and what you want. It also can mean that when you're around a Sagittarius, they bring out the best Leo that you can be because there's nothing negative here. If there was negative cards here, I think that it might be a yucky sort of side of Leo, but I'm feeling like this is a great... Leo Sagittarius combination. I think this works. I, I really think it works. Now, if you're in a working partnership with this person, it's nothing romantic whatsoever. This is damn good. Uh, Ten of Pentacles and the Sun and the Strength and working together, moving forward. There is some frustration energy here 
uh, in regards to business or moving forward if you're looking at that kind of partnership but it looks damn good and a friendship this looks pretty damn good now um, I feel that this is being very flirty, very fun. Um, it could be focused on your health and well-being. Um, but I think when you're with Sagittarius, there's a lot of flirting going on um, and very a lot of attraction. There's a lot of attraction coming out from the Leo's energy. Um, then we have this Fool. The Fool... You can see the fool a couple of ways, actually. The fool can be where sometimes Leo doesn't want to make a fool of themselves. But generally speaking, the fool is usually you're ready to go on that new journey. You're ready to hold Sagittarius's hand and say, let's go. Let's get this all happening. Um, it can be a fear, a little bit of hesitation, but it's like you're ready. Are they ready, though? Because if we look at the cards as they're in line, we have flirting in that, and then we have community and fun, possible third party. But this can be fertility, pregnancy, it can be just community. Um, it can be family as well. So we've got flirty, fun energy based, backed up with that. Uh, the Fool and the New Beginning, we have the Hermit. So we got the Sagittarius withdrawing into their house and saying, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Not yet. You know, I just need time. I need to heal or I need to just wait. And So this is, let's go, let's do it. This is, ooh, I don't know, I'm not ready yet. Uh, King of Cups, beautiful energy. So we've got the flirty energy here. We've got the more sort of solid, let's go on this love journey together. You bring out the best in me. I just want to be with you. Um, then over here, we've got the family energy. So they're sort of running in tandem. They're pretty good uh, so far. Uh, down here, we've got the sun. Best card in the deck by far for me. If you're asking about love, money, health, babies, whatever, um, this is just yes, 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 good energy, good energy, good energy. Uh, things growing, things shining. Now, again, like I said, you're showing up in your own reading three times, um, Leo. Um, so this would be where possibly if this person's healing here, trying to make a choice here, you'll say, I know what we should do and you'll take charge. Um, and then we've got strength, as I said, this is Leo, uh, Leo symbol in your own reading. Um, I feel that this here is where you're the strong counterpart to Sagittarius. If Sagittarius is not coping with something, stressing about something, you step in and say, I'm here to save the day, let's go, let's move forward. And this is picking your journeys, picking what you want to do and sticking to it. Uh, I feel that with the Three of Wands, it can be a third party interference though. Not, um, well, with the Knight of Wands, it can be a sexual interference, but I'm thinking it's more to do with uh, a mother, a father, an ex, a child. Somebody sometimes might try and sway the Leo to a different direction. Um, but usually to me, if this is a business plan, a holiday plan, even just going out for the night, um, Leo likes to pick, filter through what they want and then make a firm decision. Um, over here, as I said, we've got sense of community here. This can be sexual and desire. Kind of matches up pretty well with this. This is having fun together, getting to know each other better, uh, getting to know each other's friends and family. Um, it can be fertility. Uh, do you have a fertility sort of reading here? No, you don't. Uh, there's nothing really showing me anything about babies here apart from the thought of it uh, for the future. As I said, you've got the Hermit energy here. It could represent a Virgo. Uh, it could mean that Sagittarius has Virgo in their chart somewhere. Uh, it could also mean that some Virgo influence is there. Um, but the Virgo, the Hermit, um, this is where having fun but there's times where they need to, to stop um, Sagittarius to say, not today, not today, um, Leo, uh, you go, you have your fun, um, but I need just to stay home. So there's some sort of uh, withdrawal from participating there for Sagittarius. Uh, it can be a hurt feeling as well, that uh, this flirting energy coming off the Leo, uh, that that person doesn't take it too well and they might sort of withdraw and think, hmm, I'm not too sure about this. But this here is having a lot of get-togethers. Uh, I'm feeling a sense of community here 
on Sagittarius's side. Um, I'm feeling that you like that, but you also like Leo likes to do their own thing as well. You like to take charge. You like to say, this is where we're going. I don't really want to be with 20 people tonight. I'd rather just me and you go and go out with whoever. Um, but yeah, this is celebration and fun in the sun. It, it's like these two are beautiful. It could mean marriage and commitment, especially with the King of Cups here. Could be a long-term commitment thing here. Um, I feel Sagittarius, even though you come up with some plans and you say, hey, let's do this. It's like a really fun, free energy coming off Leo here. This is more of a serious, no, we've got to stay home. We've got to fix the, the carpet or we've got to go and buy a new radiator. Um, it's like serious kind of energy with more fun and frivolous energy, which is a good match, basically. It's a good match. Uh, this is fun sometimes, but a lot of seriousness here. This is a lot of fun all the time. Um, I also see this uh, where Sagittarius, if there's something emotional going on, they might just say, oh, I can't handle this anymore. I need to step away. And they might emotionally detach and go and sit in their room or go off for a weekend away and just say, I'm just going away. I just need to think. Um, so I do feel there's going to be times with Sagittarius where they just need a break. Um, this hanged man, I left it upside down. Hanged man is hanging around waiting for something, waiting for marriage, waiting for children, waiting for that job, waiting for the money. Um, they get frustrated with waiting with this upside down. So with the tarots, do I feel it's a good match or not? If Sagittarius can put up with the flirty, the let's go out, let's change things, let's do something new, um, because this is sort of like someone that's exceptionally happy 24-7 and I'm just not there today sometimes for Sagittarius. Here I am, but here I'm not, you know, and I'm sick of waiting for some sort of change to come in. So I feel that it might not be an exceptionally one of the best matches I've seen. Let's just see what we get with our poker deck. Five cards each, four from the top each and one from the bottom. Change, change here. Fun energy again. Serious energy over here. Hmm. Not such a great match, um, Leo Sage. Not such a great match. Uh, this can be truth and lies, uh, hidden, things hidden. Uh, this is where Leo makes a plan. They want to do something. They're going to sign on the dotted line. They come home and use Sagittarius to say, where'd that car come from? Oh, look, I signed a contract. I bought the car. And you're like, I thought we had to talk about this. <laughs> so... I feel like they may, Leo may make impulsive decisions sometimes and just do their own thing. And sometimes Sagittarius doesn't cope with that. Now, like I said right at the beginning, you might be thinking, no, Leo is this and Sagittarius is that. Uh, so it may be vice versa. Um, but this is showing fun energy again, Knight of, Pent uh, Knight of Wands and Jack of Clubs, same kind of thing. I'm seeing a lot of itchy feet syndrome here where this person wants to go, 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 change, 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 uh, wants to travel, wants to do something new, go out. Uh, you could be sitting at home, had your dinner, got your pyjamas on, somebody rings up Leo and they say, let's get our clothes on and let, let's go to the club. And it's like, huh? Um, I'm winding down, you know, like, no. So, yeah, I feel like sometimes this person is involved and other times like with the king of cups they're involved they're in the relationship with the king and the sun and other times they're on their own agenda they're on their own journey i don't like the two fives because that's where somebody's talking to you and that's where somebody's not talking to you and it can be hidden stuff and especially it's behind his back uh, so there's stuff hidden here um, this four can mean getting bored and frustrated at home um, just getting angry actually uh, it can be somebody getting a bit peed off about things. Over here with Sagittarius, we have this, why did you do that? You know, it's disappointment. It's somebody not being responsible for what they did. Um, so, yeah, they're not coping too much with irresponsibility in the past or in some kind of negative energy in the past that they're looking at. 
Um, they do have water sign and air sign here. I don't know if that's something in their chart uh, or something that you used to deal with. Um, but this is a loving energy. This is fun, supportive energy. This is wanting long-term and commitment and wanting truth. Um, but they're worried about commitment. So either Sagittarius is not too sure whether they should commit to you with this fun, loving kind of energy and wanting to do lots of things, um, or you're concerned whether they're committed back. So do I see this as a good match? Unfortunately, not really. Um, with a working energy and making money and all of that, I feel one person in the job would be stressing the hell out of themselves about where things are going. The other one would go, oh, let's just change it. Let's just do something else. So, but in a loving marriage, and if you've been married to this person for decades, um, I do feel like it's got a lot of ups and downs. Uh, there are some very nice ups, um, very new beginnings and things, but I feel like it might go around in a circle where somebody does the wrong thing, some sort of secret, and then it creates a problem. Uh, one of you say, I'm detaching from this, and then you get sick of hanging around waiting for change. So unfortunately, guys, uh, Leo Sagittarius is not getting a massive thumbs up from me. I thought when I seen the sun and all of these positive cards over here, I thought, this is fantastic. Um, but then, and the poker deck, mm, it looks like a, a relationship that's going to need some work. There is going to be some excessive, beautiful thing times, and there's going to be other times where one of you is saying, I just need to be alone right now. I need to just think about what's going on. So that's what I'm getting there, guys. Um, it could be third-party interference. Now, this could be parents or children. It can be best friends, and it can be exes, or it can be... Uh, this person spends too much time with people they work with, um, or this this person does. You know, there's sort of like there's some sort of interference here, and then that creates an imbalance between the two of you. And there's a lack of commitment either from both sides or from one side. Um, all right, so we already shuffled these. As I said, think about a yes or no question um, in case it comes out. Here we go. All right, so no, yes or no. So starting over here with Sagittarius, we have they always admired you, um, or that could be the feeling they get from you. Is this relationship worth the stress? And things just might not work. Uh, I was picking up that it might not work, this relationship here. Over here, we've got doing what's right for everyone. So that could indicate that Leo, like I said, they might spend time with other people and not put enough focus into just you. Uh, so doing what's right for everyone. They're doing it with good intent, but um, it might come off the wrong way here. Uh, luck being on their side, I can see that with the sun energy here and strength, and giving somebody a second chance. Now, does Sagittarius need to give them a chance, or does Leo need to give Sag a, ch a chance? Not too sure. Didn't get a yes or no there, guys, but anyway, that's the reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if you were waiting on this because this was a request. Sorry for the delay, uh, but finally it's done. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if you're Leo and you're wanting me to look at Leo and something else, let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you're Sagittarius and you're wanting me to look at something else, let me know in the comments below. And I'll put a little star next to them. I'll just show you my little booklet here. Um, so these are the star signs with the star signs, the lines and the ticks are the ones I've done. So we've just done Leo and Sag, so we'll put the double ticks there. Um, and over the page, we've got all the other ones here. Um, so the stars are requests. I've done that one, that one, that one, and that one. I haven't done this one yet. So Sagittarius and Taurus, that will be coming up. Um, and we've still got Sagittarius and Libra. Libra was a request. So other than those two, I don't have any other requests at the moment, but I will be working my way through them one by one. So once I've finished the requests, then I'll just go from the top and I'll start working my way. Um, I'll do one Capricorn one, one Aquarius one, one Pisces one, until I've done them all. Um, so don't despair. Uh, I will get the readings up and done. And anyway, I'll catch you all on the next one. Thanks for watching.